السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا سيدنا أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praise is due to Allah Azza wa Jal. We seek His help and His forgiveness. Whosoever that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guided him, there is no one can misguide, and who went straight, there is no one can guide him. But Allah Azza wa Jal. Dear respected brothers and sisters, uh, this is the Imam Jalal Abdul Wahid from Masjid Al uh, Rahman in Turban Spring. We welcome our uh, superstar, mashallah, our brother, Ala Atiyah. May Allah bless him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just a brother. <laughs> of course. There's yeah, no yeah. superstar to me. <laughs> mashallah, <laughs> mashallah. All brothers and stars, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So, inshallah, my brother, today, inshallah, if we can talk about one of the worshipping to Allah Azza wa Jal, it is dhikrullah. الذكر. How we mention or remembering Allah عز وجل. And what Allah عز وجل said about that. So, do uh, respect that brothers and sisters, you know, when we go to pray, we have to make wudu first. And we have to face the qibla. And it's a lot of things we have to do inside the prayer itself. But Allah Azza wa Jalla said about mentioning Allah. This is the this is the worshiping, you know, to obedient to be obedient to Allah Azza wa Jalla. It doesn't need all of that. It doesn't need nothing. Marafat, it is just like by your tongue and by your heart, of course, to remember Allah Azza wa Jalla all the time, remembering Allah, to to mention the name of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said. ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب. Aren't with the mentioning or remembering the Allah سبحانه وتعالى and names of Allah عز وجل تطمئن القلوب. You have the tranquility. You know you have the safe in your heart. You feel safer. You feel good. You feel that Allah عز وجل with you. You feel the present. You know of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. You feel that that He with you. He with you. He watching you. He with you all the time. Our brother, may Allah bless you. What you can tell us about the mentioning or remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah, bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Jazakallah khair, Shaykh Jalal. It's an incredible topic, mashallah. And I mean, the first thing that comes to mind, hadith Rasulullah, mathal alladhi yadhkurillah wa alladhi la yadhkurillah ka mathal al-hayy wa al-mayyid. The, the likeness of the person that remembers Allah and the one that doesn't remember Allah is the difference between a person that is alive and a dead person. So the Prophet ﷺ is telling every single one of us that if you want a true life, a life of piety, a life of connection to Allah, a life of love to Allah, a life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always present with you and you are truly alive, you have to make dhikr. You have to remember Allah. And the easiest ones that, that Sayyidina Ibrahim, may Allah peace and blessing be upon him, told uh, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Jannah that Jannah is full of wonders, but the easiest and what, what they call it, the fruits of Jannah is for a person to say, Alhamdulillah wa subhanallah wa la ilaha illallah wa Allahu Akbar. So imagine yourself that every time you make that dua and this dhikr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will plant you a plant in Jannah, in your Jannah at the Day of Judgment. So it's an incredible thing. If you want your heart to be alive, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when a man came to him and told him, Aw sin ya Rasulallah, qala ma yazalu lisanak ratibun bidhikrillah. Give me an advice ya Rasulallah. So he told him, the best thing I can advise you is that your tongue is always remembering Allah. As if it's you wet your tongue, you know, when you are so thirsty, like now in Ramadan, subhanAllah, and Allah makes it makes it easy for us to, to fast. That's that's what dhikr is. It's almost the lifeline of 
uh, a believer's heart and, and a sister's heart. This is for both of us. This is an amazing tool that doesn't require anything. As uh, Brother Sheikh Jalal t- told and mentioned before, you don't need to make wudu, you don't need to face the qibla, you don't need to say a few things before making dhikr. It is free. So you can make, make dhikr as many and as much as you want. A person, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has mentioned who, is, who amongst you would like a thousand good deeds every day. And everyone who was sitting around the Prophet وسلم, said, all of us, Ya Rasulullah, what should we do? He says, say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi a hundred times and Allah will give you a thousand good deed that day. Back to you, Brother Jalal. Zakallah khair. It's an incredible topic. There's so much you can talk about, but I don't want to take too much time. Jazakallah khair. you, Jalal. My brother, may Allah bless you. Yes, sir. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Ya And always, like we said before, Allah Azza wa Jal never said, Oh, oh you Muslims, Ya ayyuhalladina aslamu, or Ya ayyuhal muslimun. Allah doesn't say that. Allah always said, Oh, oh you believes. You know, and when you see that this word, this meaning that there is an action coming after that, Allah Azza wa Jal ordered you to say something or to do something or prevent you for not doing nothing, for not doing something. Always, always be careful. When you when you read, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, it's meaning, oh, oh, you believe, that's meaning that Allah Azza wa Jal talks to you. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, idhkuru Allah dhikran kathira. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot. This is the only worshipping that Allah Azza wa Jal mention it in, in the all in everything dhikran kathira a lot mention him a lot ya allah so it doesn't it, it's very very light in your tongue right in your tongue and with your heart you feel the tranquility you feel the mercy subhanallah al-azim the prophet of allah peace and blessing be upon him he said ahsanu ma yakunu al-abdu min ash-shaytan you want to protect yourself from the shaitan, you be very, very strong, is dhikrullah, remembering Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you have no idea, subhanallah al-azim, and of course, I mean, you have idea, mashallah, better than me, may Allah bless you, my dear respected brothers and sisters, but the shaitan, it will, he will not come with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at all. So when you mention Allah azza wa jal, you mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the shaitan is going to be turned away. So there is a lot of tools with us, like our brother, uh, Ala, may Allah bless him. He said a lot of tools, and this very, very light tools, but it is very heavy, you know, in the eye, on the side of the shaitan. The Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, There is no lot like a group of people. They gather together in the house of Allah, inside the house of Allah. They are studying or they mention or they remember in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa except for what happened to them. The angels go around them and surrounding them. وَغَشِيَتْهُمْ السَّكِينَةِ وَالرَّحْمَةِ You know, so they have the tranquility and they have the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, وَذَكَرَهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي مَلَئٍ خَيْرٌ مِنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, can you, can you imagine Allah azza wa jal mention your name, your name? Do you remember when, uh, when uh, I didn't want to take a lot of time also my brother, but just please, I'm, I'm going to take just like half a minute, half a minute. When the companion that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went to him and he said to him, Allah azza wa jal order me to come to you to say to you surah al bayina So he said to him, oh, Prophet of Allah, did Allah Azza wa Jal mention my name? By my name? He said, yes, by your name. He said to him, O oh, Prophet of Allah, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like, like Jibreel, be some blessing be upon him, he said to you to go to one of your companions, and you choose me because, because you have a good relationship and you love me? He said to him, no. Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ordered me to come to you and say that to you by name. So he was like three days couldn't believe and said to everyone, Allah, mention my name. 
So you know, my brothers and sisters, we have this every time, all the time. We can mention and remember in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we gather together, subhanallah al azim and we mention the name of Allah and remembering Allah azza wa jal. Remembering its meaning, its meaning we have the, the, the taqwa from Allah azza wa jal. You feel, you feel it. I back to you, inshallah, my brother. May Allah bless you. Jazakallah uh, khair, brother. Uh, Jalal, subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa mentions so many things about the dhikr. He mentioned the Quran was dhikr al-hakim. The whole Quran as a source of dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not only it is remembrance of Allah, but it's very well guarded and very well uh, very well revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where there is no no fault subhanallah in it ever. So if you were to read the Quran, that's the highest of dhikr. If you are unable to read the Quran, you still can make dhikr and remember Allah by saying simply Alhamdulillah. Ya Allah, thank you. All praises are thanks to you. Every single morning we wake up in the morning, that's what we we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ma asbaha bi min ni'matin aw bi ahadin min khalqika fa minka wahdaka la sharika lak. Fa lak alhamdu wa lak al-shukr. Every single morning when we wake up in the morning, we say, Ya Allah, there is no blessing that I ever woke up in or any one of your creation except from you, Ya Allah. You are the only one that bestow the blessings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also in the Quran mentions, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ وَاشْكُرُونِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ If you were to remember me, I will remember you. And make thanks and praise to me and do not commit shirk and association with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making the burden on every single one of us. We have to make the dhikr. We have to remember to make the dhikr. And usually after every major thing, after the, the prayer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask the believers to make dhikr of Allah. You just finished the prayer. That's the ultimate dhikr. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always giving the believers that if you want to be shielded from shaitan, as Brother Jalal said and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa then you have to make dhikr. Not only that, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala go to the ultimate. Those who remember Allah standing up, sitting down, and even on their side, when you are in bed, when you're going to sleep, when you read the uh, ayat al-kursi, when you read al-ma'udhat, all of that is dhikr. All of that people that remembers Allah in every form of their waking time. And this is an amazing thing. Some of the Sahaba, you find them that Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, used to make dhikr. So he had the, he had the, the dates, you know, the fillers of the dates that bone in it. And he counted like 80 of them, 100 of them, and put it on the right side when he sleeps. And every time he wakes up, he says, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, La ilaha illallah, until he finishes the pile. So the pile moves from his right side to his left side. And then when he turns again, he moves it back again to the right side. That even when he was waking up through the night, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, he was making dhikr. The Prophet, وسلم, every single thing about him is dhikr is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's telling us how to remember Allah and how to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the most important things that we all forget. We forget that we need to be with Allah at all times. And this is an important factor in our life that would make our life closer to a salat al-mustaqeem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us to do, which is the straight path. Back to you, brother Jalal. May Allah bless you. MashaAllah Rabbil Alameen, really, really good topic. May Allah bless you, Habibi Amin, Rabbil Alameen, Brother Ala. Allah, this wonderful uh, topic. The, my dear respected brothers and sisters, matter of fact, that Allah talks also about the believers, the believers, when they do something, when they do like some mistakes. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, وَالَّذِينَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ When they do some mistakes, when they do some oppressing to themselves, or they do some some mistake, some some sin, you know, you like you know, so any kind of sin, any saying something bad, talk about someone bad or anything, right away, Zakarullah, Zakarullah, 
فاستغفروا لذنوبهم. They mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illa Allah. Wallahi, what is more important than that? فاستغفروا لذنوبهم. And they seek forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal from what they did. You know, ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله. Who else? Who else? You know, forgive the people except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one. No one. Allahu Akbar. So this is this is very important. You have it. You know, you have it. You, you can say it in your car while you're driving. You know, in your car while you're driving, you go, you go to your work. While you, while you do anything. While you're doing anything in your in your free time, subhanAllah al-Azim. While you're working. You know, if, if something like not important in the work. So while you, you are working, while you are walking, while you are in, in a gym, for example, you know, inshallah, I will go to gym after Ramadan. Every time I say that, brother, and I never do. So, subhanallah al azim while you are in a gym, while you are walking, while you are running, while you do anything, you have the enjoyment, plus you have you take a lot of deeds, good deeds. Uh, you know, my dear respected brother and sister, that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, be some blessing be upon him. Kalimatan, khafifatani ala lisan, thaqilatani fi mizan, habibatani ila al-Rahman, subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanallah al-Azim. Two words, they are too light, too light on the, on the tongue. We can say it on the tongue. Very, very light on the tongue. And they are... They are very heavy on the scale, you know, and they are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Habibatani to the most merciful, and the most merciful is Allah azza wa jal. The most thing here, the most important thing, that they are beloved to Allah azza wa jal. Allah loves them. You know, when you when you when you when you care about someone, for example, when I go to uh, to, to my brother. Ala, I, I always see what he likes, what our brother Ala likes. He likes, for, for example, the sweet, but he's sweet enough, alhamdulillah, he doesn't, he doesn't want more sweet. So, for example, I bring to him some, some sweet. Why? Because he loves it. I always search. You know, you know when your mom, she know what you love, for example, after when, when you go to visit your mom, your mom do the, the you know, the, the food you like, and you say, oh, Allah Akbar, I missed it, I love it, I like it, because she knows what you like. So, also, the companions of the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they always look in what Allah loves, and this is what brings us closer to Allah. So, this kalimatan, these two words, Habibatani ila rahman Allah Azza wa Jal loves them. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah al -Azim. So this is one of the best also. Afdal dhikr The best dhikr ever. The best mentioning is La ilaha illallah. Afdal, afdal. The best word ever. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. It's very important. The mention, mentioning or remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. Back to you, my brother, Ala. May Allah bless you. Zaykallah khair, brother. Yes, as, as brother Jalal said, the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the tranquility that the brother has started with the ayah, Allah bi zikri Allahi tatmainu al Sometimes you wake up in the morning, brothers and sisters, and you feel something is going in your chest and you don't know what it is. You're not happy, you're not, you know, you're not, that there's something bothering you, something so heavy. Once you start making wudu, praying to Allah, making dhikr, making istighfar, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh, you feel that your soul is lighter, that all of this, all of this feeling, the bad feeling inside you is gone. And this is one of the things that the Prophet wasallam has always taught us, to be always in relationship with Allah. Never leave the sight of Allah, and not only that, but to make it easy. Zikr in itself will make you for, forget and reduce the amount of anything you listen to. Let's say you listen to music a lot. Let's say you like TV a lot. Right? Let's say you want to be on the computer and the PS5 and the Xbox and all of this. Once you make Zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, you will find automatically that the time you spend on the things that will not be of great benefit to you would be diminished. And your amount of hasanat and good deeds before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases. And you will see that your life itself, everything you start in your life, every place you go to, 
Allah makes it easy. As long as you seek the means, but you seek the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please Him. With that, you know that dhikr is the lifeline of a believer. It's almost like the blood that is running in your veins. Once you're making dhikr, you are making shaitan in, in a very bad position and he can't come close to you. And that's one of the things that will make us all remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is so many things that the Prophet وسلم, has taught us. Among them is how to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's one of the things that we all have to always stay with. The Quran, the greatest dhikr. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends, uh, mentioned, inna nahnu dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We, it's we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that have the, the, re, revealed Al Quran, but He used the word dhikr instead of the Quran in this situation, wa inna lahu lahafidun, and we are the guardian of Al Quran. So that reminds every single one of us that reading the Quran for every single character that you read, Allah will give you 10, 10 good deeds. Dear brothers, don't try to generate more hasanat in Ramadan. Don't waste your time. Don't sit by the TV so long. Don't listen to you know music or play games and do all of that hours upon hours upon hours and you miss the best thing about Ramadan. Remembering Allah, being closer to Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness, making repentance to Allah, and Allah knows that we all need to do that. Zakullah khair, back to you, Brother Jalal. May Allah bless you. Zakullah khair, my brother. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Respected brothers and sisters, my friend that Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had been narrated that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sabaqa al mufarridun you know, they are ahead, ahead of time. Though they are the distinguished people. And the, the companions of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they asked him, who is Al-Mufarridun? Woman whom Al-Mufarridun ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He said, Al-Dhaqirin Allah Kathiran wa Dhaqira. Those who always, always put your tongue, always busy. You know, dear respected brothers and sisters, it is very, very easy. SubhanAllah al -Azim. We, as, as a mankind, we love to talk. We love to talk. And you know, I'm going to give you a secret. They said always, do not give the Imam, like uh, our brother Ala or Imam Jalal, for example, do not give them the mic, the mic because they're going to keep going and going and going, you know. And another secret, do not give the, 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 the ladies, do our, the sisters, do not give them the, the phone, the, the cell phone. They always make this a kind of joke or, or a kind of... Uh, of joking but subhanallah al-azim so we are as a mankind we are as a people we love to talk and sometimes subhanallah al -Azim, a lot of people being like nosy or something so well, how about if we make our our tongue busy busy of what remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar wa lillahi alhamd alhamdulillah rabbil alameen allahumma inna so then you call Allah Azza wa Jal. Then you ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, glorifying Allah Azza wa Jal. Always Allah bi dikri Allahi tadma inu al qulub. We always be being remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself away from the shaitan, from the devil. Keep yourself always focusing and remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. So we did not have a negative thought. Always being positive. Same like the personality of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he mentioned, peace and blessing be upon him, that he said that he, he seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal 70 times and in another narration, 100 times. And he repented to Allah Azza wa Jal 70 times or 100 times a day. Brothers and sisters, a day, every single day. Do you think that uh, is there anyone all over the world all over the world he is more busy than the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i don't think i don't think when we have time when we want time we will get time when we want time we will have time inshallah Rabbil Alameen. brother Ala, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a quick recovery i see that you are yani, subhanallah a little you struggle but may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this in your yeah. in your repeat inshallah Rabbil Alameen. Amen. 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 
like a very fast recovery, inshallah. Uh, uh, what you can tell us, inshallah, in uh, one uh, more. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as you mentioned, yes, yes, he yes. used to make a sighfar 70 times in one duration, 100 times in one duration. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven all his sins, previous and later sins. So imagine every single one of us, how many sins we commit every day, how many wrong things we do every day, how many wrong words that we do every day. Even Abu Bakr al-Siddiq used to hold his tongue and say that this is the one that's going to get me in trouble and get me to the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they used to hold their their what their words. If the word doesn't doesn't mean something and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man kana man, man uh, Whoever is going to speak, let him say something good or let him hold his speech. Zikr make you stop talking, using the vain talk, backbiting, talking about people behind their back, uh, describing people in a way they don't like to describe. Keep your heart always alive with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pure. And the pure heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are seeking is the one that would receive the Quran. And as Imam ibn Qayyim, he said that if you truly want to know where you stand with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then pick up the Quran and read the Quran and then see what effect the Quran and the ayahs of the Quran have on your heart and your soul. If it impacts you, if you feel that you feel every word of it, then you are a believer. If you keep on reading the Quran and not getting anything out of it, they go back and make a sighfar, make dhikr, and go back to the Quran again for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the Quran as cure and mercy for the believers. That mercy and cure need to be read, need to be memorized, need to be applied in every single day. And this is what the dhikr is all about. The zikr is about being connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's almost right now, brothers and sisters, when you leave home, you cannot leave without your phone. Your phone is so attached, you're so attached to it that you cannot leave. And if you forget your phone, you go back home again, run again and get your phone and leave. If you, if you make a zikr in your life as close to you as your phone, then you have achieved success with Allah and a great relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you, you personally will benefit for it. No, nobody else, this is you that will benefit from that dhikr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Jazakumullah khair, back to you, Brother yeah. Jalal. Jazakumullah khair, my brother. I mean, ya Rabbil Ameen. It's a really very important topic. How to, alaykum salam It is very, really important topic, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. How to uh, implement and keep our life busy with the positive thinking, with the positive attitude, you know, and how to be make ourself, ourself a positive, same like the personality of the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by remembering Allah, by mentioning the name of Allah, you know, even by reading the Quran, same like my brother said, uh, reading the Quran, it is the words of Allah Azza wa Jal, by make istighfar, forgiveness, by make, by seeking help, Allah Azza wa Jal, Always, always, this is the great way, alhamdulillah, to do and to go, inshallah, to go to Jannah, to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to be close to Allah azza wa jal. This is very important. Always mention, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mention and remembering how, how you have to get the tranquility, to get the mercy from Allah azza wa jal with his word, with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal, this uh, hadith from the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that Ana inda husna, husna abdi bi. You know, if when my, my servant like, named me or remembering me inside himself, I will remember him inside myself. And if he remembering me or mention my name, you know, with the people, I will mention his name also. Can you remember, can, can you imagine that Allah Azza wa Jalla subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, remembering us and named us by name and calling us by name to, to, uh, to who? To the angels, subhanAllah al-Azim, to al-Mala'i al-A'la, to the angels. Can, can you believe, my dear respected brothers and sisters, it is in our hand. Again, 
We are alive, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Tomorrow, I don't know where I'm going to be. So today, I have the, today, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I have the opportunity, I have the advantage, I have the opportunity in order to, to take it, I have to take this value. I have to, we have to remember in Allah Azza wa Jal, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, inshallah, we thank you, our brother, Ala, may Allah bless you, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm going to make dua, inshallah, and I'm going to remember you, inshallah, in my dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it in your deed and make good and quick recovery, inshallah, for you, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma inna nahmaduka hamdan kathiran tayyiban yurdika ya arhamar rahimin. نحمدك على نعمة الإسلام ونحمدك على نعمة الإيمان ونحمدك على أن جعلتنا من أمة خير الأنام محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت ولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق سبحانك ولا يقضى عليك أنت الغني ونحن الفقراء إليك أنت العزيز ونحن أذلاء إليك أنت الغني ونحن الفقراء إليك أنت القوي ونحن الضعفاء إليك يا واصل المنقطعين أوصلنا إليك اللهم تقبل صلاتنا وصيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا وسائر أعمالنا اشف مرضانا اللهم اشف مرضانا اللهم ارحم موتانا اللهم تقبل منا اللهم تقبل منا اللهم تقبل يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اقبل توبتنا واغمسن حوبتنا اللهم نهد عاصينا اقبل تائبنا رد غائبنا كلنا ولا تكن علينا اللهم إنا وقفنا ببابك نرجوك ونرجوك ندعوك ونرجوك يا من يحب من دعاه يا من لا يخيب من رجاه نسألك وندعوك وأنت الله اللهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا أعفو عنك يا الله سبحان <تصفيق> ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك وأنعم على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. To respect the brother and sister, جزاكم الله خيرا and thank you for our brother على عطية مي الله bless you أمين رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا and إن شاء الله we will see you جزاكم الله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته.